Hello viewers, my name is Dr. Omoni Yadoye. You are welcome again to Medical Tips on Ogungo TV. Today I want to talk to you about foods that can help in curing stomach ulcer. The food that you can eat that will also help in curing your stomach ulcer. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much. Um, for the benefit of those who have um, asked me a few questions in the time past, I just want to clear this. I want to differentiate between heart bones and stomach ulcer. Of course, heart bones occurs in the esophagus. Our digestive system is composed of the mouth, and then the esophagus and then the stomach the small intestine the large intestine and then the exit which is the anus essentially stomach ulcer occurs in the stomach but heart bones occurs in the esophagus therefore the pain that comes from heart bones is usually found in the chest. Whereas the pains that occurs with stomach ulcer is found in the upper tummy, upper abdomen. Both are caused by stomach acid. Heart bone occurs when there is frequent reflux of the stomach acid into the esophagus. Usually the end part of the esophagus should be tight. Okay, it contains a sphincter which normally should not permit the content of the stomach to go back. But in a situation where there is excessive relaxation of those sphincter, there will be reflux. Of the content of the stomach. When there is a current reflux of this acid into the esophagus, it can cause little, little tear in the esophagus. And then this tear will mimic the kind of pain you get from stomach ulcer, but this is located in the chest. Okay? And people say, I have heart bones. I have heart bones. The common thing that they share is that there is wound on both sides, but the wound in stomach ulcer is more. Number two, they share stomach acid as common thing. But take note that the positioning and the, the uh, pathophysiology is different. Well, I at this point would like to talk to you about foods that you can eat to assist in curing your ulcer. Five things I will mention. And the first one is honey. Honey. Honey is very good for you. It's good for me. Honey has the ability to esteem the healings of wounds. And it in addition to that, it has antimicrobial effect. And that is why even on a surface wound, we use honey sometimes. When you take honey, it goes to your stomach and then it helps your stomach ulcer to get healed. It reduces, it has antimicrobial effect against H. pylori bacteria. Number two, cabbage juice. You see, cabbage juice is very rich in vitamin C and antioxidants. It also has a very good antimicrobial effect. Number three, aloe vera. Aloe vera reduces the production of stomach acids. When you take aloe vera juice, especially with your medications, 
you can be sure of fast healing of your stomach ulcer. Number four, garlic. Garlic is very, very good. Garlic has a very fantastic antibiotic effect. Apart from other functions that it performs, you see, garlic is known for preventing the formation of new ulcer. It acts widely against H. pylori. Number five, boiled vegetables. When you boil green vegetables and yellow vegetables apart from tomato together without spices or salt and you take them in little, little quantities, it helps your ulcer to heal. Essentially, all that I've discussed with you, all this food, it is not to say that you don't need your medications. What I'm saying is that if you practice all this, together with your medications, you can be sure of having your ulcer cured earlier than expected. Well, thank you for watching. Thanks for your subscription. Till next time we meet again on this channel, I wish that you stay safe. I wish that you stay healthy. My name is Dr. Omani Yadioye. I love you.